Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us and listening to our presentation of John's Bistro by the Ricky Managers. Let's take a look at the overview of our TV show. So our TV show is about John's Bistro, a restaurant at risk of failing after a new restaurant has opened up down the street, which made the market more competitive. The story follows John and his team of employees as they figure out how to handle the competition, regain lost business, as well as bring in new business that they had not had before. We will learn with John, Hannah, Stacy, and Jake how to become a more cohesive and efficient team and how to better use each team member's individual strengths. We will apply and demonstrate management concepts such as competitive advantage, differentiation strategy, classical decision-making differentiation, specialization and formalization, to name a few. Come and join our team as we explore the concepts and develop the characters in the storyline. Find out about how Stacy changes from entitled student from our first day at John's Bistro to an efficient and experienced employee. The target audience for this show is an employee and member of the business industry between the ages of 18 to 70 with the interest in learning and improving their work and management techniques. The setting of our TV show is an established restaurant on 4th Street North in St. Petersburg, Florida. Okay, now we will get into the characters of the TV show. First, we'll start off with John. John is the owner of John's Bistro. He's an experienced manager and transactional leader, and he has a passion for business. He loves business. That's all he thinks about. He lives, sleeps, eats, drinks business. That's all he cares about. He's very motivational. So if someone thinks that they can't do something or they're not good enough, John will motivate them. He, he doesn't believe in that. He's very motivational. Then we have Hannah. She's the manager of John's Bistro. She's very personable. She has great critical thinking skills and as well as strong communication skills. She's taken a liking to Stacy, so now she is Stacy's mentor. She wants to teach her things and not just about business, but life as well. Next, we have Stacy. She's a full time student at USF St. Pete. She's an inspiring entrepreneur. She's very opinionated. She's creative. And she's an active member of various groups on campus. So she's very social. She's very outgoing. Then we have Jake. Jake is the complete opposite of, of Stacy. However, he is a full-time student at USF St. Pete. He's very goal-driven. He's intuitive. He's a problem solver. And this is where he is... Um, the opposite of Stacy. He's very reserved and he lacks social and communication skills. Next, we will go on to our breakdown and our storyboard. So for episode one, it will basically be the introduction to the characters and the restaurants in our story. Also, we'll discuss the managerial managerial concept of stakeholders. Now we'll move on to episode two. Episode two is where things get a little bit interesting. So in this episode, competition moves down the street from John's Bistro and they oppose immediate threat to the family owned business. So this is where the coordinated principal will come in handy and useful for a way to solve their issues of competition and customer loss. Now we will move on to episode three. In this episode, the team is given a chance to show their managerial skills and come together to help John's Bistro as their customer loss has become more prevalent. So at this moment, if everyone wasn't aware of the customer loss or if they just brushed it off like, eh, just a few customers, that's just new business, the customers will come back. Now they realize like there's really a serious threat and this new restaurant is seriously taking their customers in a big, big threat. So as they realize how much the competition has affected their business, they use the decision making model to come up with more ideas.
lastly, we have episode four. In this episode, unsteady business is starting to take its toll on Jake and Stacy, and now their their loyalty is wavering. So they don't know if they want to stay or not, and to help John. So this is where their loyalty will get put to the test in this episode. Aside from that, certain members of the team use organizational structure and design, hoping it will help John's bistro get back on his feet. Now we will get a more detailed overview of episode one. So John's Bistro is a small family owned restaurant that is very threatened by a new restaurant to open up down the street. John's Bistro, they start losing clients, they start losing business. And during this episode, we'll explore the management concepts of stakeholders. In this case, the main stakeholders are John and his three employees. So now let's meet John. John, he's the manager and owner of the restaurant. He's an experienced manager who has worked in a restaurant since his teenage years. He's a transactional leader with the right technical skills to run a successful restaurant, as well as strong interpersonal skills that are helpful in the business. He's empathetic, persuasive, and strong people skills and customer oriented. oriented, oriented. John is also analytical with skills to solve problems. During this series, John will learn and he will grow as a manager, increasing his clientele satisfaction, as well as motivate his employees. At the end, John's business will be stronger. He will be a, um, a better com competitive advantage over the competition. And he will have a strong strategy to continue to succeed. John will also change his leadership style. As usual, when someone is tested, their their true their true colors come out, so to speak, or they're so tested at something that a new part of them comes out that they didn't know. So with this process, John will become a more transformational leader. Now let's meet Hannah. Hannah's moved up to the management at John's Bistro due to her strengths in communication, time management, and personal personal personality. Hannah started as a server at the restaurant, and then she was always very early, always 20 minutes early, always very customer friendly, always had great ideas, and she just always used to take charge. So John saw this in Hannah, and he promoted her to the management position. So with these skills, Hannah knows that this job is stressful, and she feels like John and the staff are like her family. So Hannah is a single, single woman, no family. So she thinks her work family is like her real family. She's very committed to helping John and John's Bistro becoming the most successful restaurant in St. Pete. Since John gave her a chance, she doesn't, she doesn't take that lightly. She recognized that and she thanks him. So she's coming a liking to Stacy, their newest employee. And now she wants to be Stacy's mentor. However, the company is not doing too well, and she is somehow concerned because she needs her income. Like I said, she's single, and this is her job. This is how she lives. This is her livelihood. So she needs this restaurant to work. Let's continue on with episode one. Let's meet Jake. Jake is a senior at the University of South Florida, St. Pete. He's very intuitive and goal-driven. He's a fast learner, and he continuously picks up on new skills and traits. He's a great listener and problem solver, but he is very reserved and he lacks communication skills that are necessary to be successful in the business world. Jake ultimately wants to be a business owner. Another thing that will hinder him is that he doesn't know how to receive constructive criticism and make necessary changes, which will be detrimental for his professional advancement. Lastly, let's meet Stacy. Stacy is a full-time student a junior at the University of South Florida, St. Petersburg. Stacy feels very entitled and she's working her way to pay her college expenses. But the restaurant industry is not ultimately where she wants to end up. She's not interested in it. She wants to be an entrepreneur when she graduates and she has a lot of innovative business ideas. Stacy has a strong social life. She's very involved on campus and things like that. And she's very popular. 
She has no working experience, however, but sometimes dealing with customers, she can come off as rude or stubborn. She's very opinionated and talkative, and she's not afraid to express her feelings or tell you how she feels. With Hannah's guidance, she has the potential to be a great employee. Her social media skills and knowledge will come in handy to help the restaurant's marketing strategy. Episode 2. This is where things get a little bit more interesting. So, John realizes that he's losing business to the new restaurant down the street. So, John quickly realizes that he needs to gain competitive advantage over the competition. So, Hannah tells John that she should go to the restaurant to get a menu and try out the food so they can know what they're working with, what, what they're competing against. So, John agrees to send Hannah, but he tells her to cover up her work uniform to keep her from being noticed by the manager and the staff at um, the competition's restaurant. So Hannah believes no one will recognize her, and she does not disguise her work uniform when she goes into the restaurant. So she ultimately gets spotted by the manager of the restaurant, and she kicked out. However, she was able to take a menu before being put out, but she was not able to receive any food. So she comes back to the restaurant, and John sees that the competition's prices are lower, and their menu offers more of a variety than John's bistro. So John, he's he's like, I don't want to lower the prices. So since he doesn't want to lower the prices, Hannah suggests that they come up with a customer loyalty program. So the tentative customer loyalty program is once the customer spends $50, they receive a free entree. Also, John adds new menus, new items to the menu, as well as happy hour and lunch and dinner specials. Let's move on to episode three. In this episode, John, Stacy, Jake, and Hannah begin testing their new methods to restore business, such as the new marketing methods and special promotions. A few ideas come to mind, but none of them seem to be the right fit. Ultimately, they decide to use the classical decision-making model to find the best possible marketing strategy to save the business. Using the first of two approaches in classical decision-making, the rational model approach, the first marketing strategy has come to life. The first marketing strategy is to target a younger crowd ages 18 to 40 by creating a late night happy hour that starts at 8 p.m. The happy hour scheme is to be advertised on social media websites such as Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram due to the high activity volume of the users being in the target age group. John, Stacy, Jake, and Hannah all agree that a backup plan must be in place, but they are mentally exhausted because they were thinking for hours on hours. It was decided to use the bounded rationality model, another approach in a, in a classical decision making, to create the first acceptable marketing strategy. Parties of 10 or more get two free appetizers when they book a reservation and the marketing and the next marketing strategy created. This strategy is intended to spread through flyers by being hung up in a local area and throughout knowledge obtained by coming to the restaurant, therefore spreading through word of mouth. Using the last step in a classical decision-making model, they find unpleasant results as business has not yet picked up as they all would have hoped. Now we'll move on to the last episode of the scenario. Employees Jake and Stacy seem discouraged when the methods do not immediately work, and so they begin to panic and consider whether to look for new jobs. They're thinking like, ah, this isn't working, we're running out of time, we really need this money and a job. So maybe we should move on to something else. Ultimately, they decide to stay with their company to help them regain the lost business and better the company's organizational structure and design. After talking a little with Stacy, Jake comes up with an idea to implement a new strategy that requires everyone to have a special role in the, in the business. The system is referred to as differentiation. Differentiation is when tasks and responsibilities are divided amongst everyone in order for those certain individuals to become advanced and specialize in their area. Differentiation is a great strategy because it not only helps with customer service and structure, it also gives each employee a feeling of being needed and wanted by giving them certain responsibilities that only they're supposed to do. Also in episode four, Jake and Stacy present their idea of differentiation to John and Hannah. 
who then decide that it's worth a shot. Why not? Nothing else has worked to this point. What do we have to lose? So John assigns everyone their own responsibilities and tasks. Hannah, she keeps up with Stacy and Jake's comments. Concerns and questions. Jake is responsible for cleaning tables and taking customers' payments. Stacy is responsible for waiting tables and giving excellent customer service. And John is the one responsible for overseeing everything and everyone in recording the outcomes and effects of this new strategy. Along with the new strategy, they develop a new system that helps organize activities, communication, and decision making. This is referred to as the line of authority. Jake and Stacy and Jake report comments and concerns to Hannah, who then relays the comments and concerns to John. And then John and Hannah converse and, they, and decide on the decision together. Everyone is aware that the time needs to be given in order to see the effect, whether it be positive or negative. It can't be a rush judgment. They have to give it time to see how things go. But meanwhile, Stacy and Jake begin to consider new ways to reach their generation. And that is our presentation. Thank you for watching and looking at our TV show, John's Beach Girl, from Macy, Nicole, Albert, Celia, Kaylee, and Alex, Rookie Managers, signing off.